number 19 and 20. Use the graph to, function, to find the function's y-intercept, and then number 20 is use the graph to find the zeros. So first, the y-intercept. We would go to our y-axis here and say, where does our equation cross the y-axis? Answer is right there. It should be at negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So the y-intercept, if you want to list it as a coordinate point, would be 0, negative 4, because remember, it's x, then y in the alphabet, so we list it that way. You could write the point this way. Or you could say the y-intercept is at negative 4. You could write it that way as well. The y-intercept is at negative 4. And then number 20, it says use the graph to find zeros. Now the difference of zeros is now it's kind of like the x-intercept. And I put it in parentheses because there might be more than one. As I look at this picture, I only see the x-intercept here. And so I could say... At that point is 1, 2, 3. You could list it as a coordinate point as 3, 0 as being a 0. Or you could say an x-intercept at x equals 3. You could do it that way as well.